Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to find information from a Windows ISO file such as the build, the addition, and that kind of thing uh, from the command line. So let's say you have a ISO file like this one here. Most of the time when you download a Windows ISO file it will have you know other information you know such as the build number and that kind of stuff but sometimes you know so maybe you got an ISO file from somebody else or you renamed it at one point and you forgot what it is. So what you could do, the first thing you need to do is to mount it on your computer. So generally you could just do that by double clicking it. So this mounted it as the E drive. And then once you have it mounted, you need to go to the sources folder and look for a file called install. And it's either going to be install.wim or install.esd. And if you don't have your file extensions shown, you could go to view, show, and then check file name extensions. And it's in Windows 10 is similar. You just need to go up to the tools, I think it is, and then the folder options. Okay, so we have this one's the WIM, so we know we need to use this command here with the WIM. So the only thing you need to do is make sure this drive letter matches the one that was uh, mounted. So this is drive E. So that's what we want. So we're just going to copy this. Open a administrative command prompt. Right clicking, run as administrator. And we'll just paste it in there by right clicking. And you could also, by the way, you could go to the edit menu here and paste if that doesn't work for some reason. And hit enter. Okay, so we can see this is Windows 11 Home. Here's the size, 64-bit, uh, uh, the version. 22000 service pack build level, uh, addition core, client, so on. How many files are in it when it was modified, when it was created? So, I mean, the main uh, information you're probably going to want is the version and the build number. And then, if it's, you know, Windows 11 Home or whatever, lots of the time, or actually most of the time, when you install Windows, they put all the additions in the CD so you can do Home Pro, whatever, from uh, one ISO file. So, like I said, it's pretty simple, just use this command that matches your install file in your sources folder. And then just change the drive layer. I'll put these in the description so you can just copy and paste it. And then just use the administrator command prompt, paste it in there, and you'll have all the information you need. And then you could actually, you know, rename your ISO file if you want to make it uh, match the version and so on so you don't have to do this next time. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.